Okay, this is just another video in our series uh, from tvtrade.ie. Um, this one basically deals with how to convert downloaded videos from YouTube, okay? Maybe into some other format that you might find more useful. Um, in particular, say you downloaded it in the format FLV and it wouldn't play on your media player, for example, you might want to convert it into an AVI or something like that, okay? So, basically to do this, you're gonna need um, a little program you can get on the internet. So I'm just gonna come over to this tab here um, and I have the Google homepage. So if you just type in download.com, okay? So the top one that'll come up will be the download.com uh, homepage. So just click into it. And just in the search bar up here, uh, you wanna make sure the Windows software is ticked, well, presuming you're using Windows itself, but most people will be, so we're just going to deal with that. So that's ticked, and we want to type in Format Factory, okay? And then we're just gonna go Search. Okay, so the top one that comes back is this program here called Format Factory, okay? So we're just gonna click into it. And then we're gonna click the Download Now button. Now it's fairly sizable, it's almost 40 megabytes, so it will take probably a couple of minutes to download. But if you notice then, just up here, this yellow bar just appeared, and what you want to do is left click on it and say download file. And it'll thank you for your download, it'll begin in a moment, okay? And so there you go. So it's gonna come um, in a zip file, you can see it's called ffsetup260.zip, okay? So um, what we're going to do is click open. Well, you can click save or open, but for these purposes, we're going to click open, okay? So it'll just take a minute here. It's downloading. You can see in the bottom left, there's an indicator that it's downloading, and you can see this bar here going across, which will indicate how far along it's gone, okay? So that'll take a couple of minutes, and just in the meantime then... Oh, that was very quick, okay. So once that's done then, what you want to do is you want to click on the program, and you want to run it, okay? Now, I'm not going to do the full installation procedure because I already have it installed, but basically all you want to do is go through and say install next, 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 and that sort of thing, okay? So I'm just gonna cancel that now and I'm sure I want to quit that, okay? So I'm just gonna kill that window. And once it's installed then, you should have an icon on your desktop uh, for Format Factory, okay? So what you want to do is, previously you will have downloaded a video maybe from YouTube. I just have a folder here called Download Videos and I have a video that we put up from tvtrade.ie on how to convert an NTFS to FAT32 file system, okay? So I have this in this folder here called Download Videos. So I'm just going to, I have Format Factory open already, so I'm just going to pull it up here and you can see what it looks like there now. Now you can convert all sorts to all sorts within Format Factory. It's just really a great little program and it's free and it's just brilliant like. Okay, so uh, just to show you like you can convert all different types of audio files. You can click uh, on picture there. You can click uh, different types of pictures. You can change them all around. But it's video we're interested in, okay? So we just click on the video tab and you can see what we can convert the video into, okay? So we want to convert to say you can't play your FLV file on your um, media player, for example. So uh, the more common format then that would play on something like a media player would be an AVI. So we're going to say all to AVI. OK, so it'll pull up here then and it gives you loads of different options. So the output setting is what you want it to turn into. And there's all different things you can change here. You can change uh, what it's encoded with. If you just click on it, you'll get a little drop down here. So I'm going to change it to XVID, which would be very common, okay? And you can change the video size. There's all sorts of different sizes, ranging from low def to high def. So I'm just going to change it to something um, standard, let's say. So um, we'll change it to uh, 320 by 240. It'd be a small video, but you know you can change it to whatever you want, okay? So that's okay. So we'll just click the OK button then. Okay, so we want to add a file. So if you have your video um, folder open, all you have to do is have it highlighted and drag it down to the white area here and drop it into it. Okay, and then you just simply click OK. And then you go up to the Start button and you go Start. Okay, so hopefully this won't take too long. You can see the progress bar going across there. It's probably going to take 
maybe in the region of a minute so while that's going on there we'll just chat to you about maybe why you might want to do this okay there's certain media players um that won't play flv files especially if you download them from youtube that's the standard format they're going to come in there are programs you can use that will download it in other formats um specifically why we're showing this is some of our satellite receivers and our combo satellite receivers um won't play flv files but they will play avis and mkvs things like that and div x so this is one way that if you do download it in a, in, in its uh, natural FLV um, state, that you can convert it. That um, so you can watch it on one of the satellite receivers that have media player functions. Okay, so you can see here now that it's uh, just approaching uh, 100%. So it's almost done now. So that's grand. So that yeah, it, it you can see down here it actually took a minute on the button. So that's fine. So um, you can see it's completed now. So where it where it um, outputs the new file by default is this folder called ff output and the folder will be if you're using windows xp it'll be in documents and settings uh, the name of your account um, it'll be in my documents and it'll be in this folder called ff output okay so you can see here now it's an avi video file it's after being converted and um, as you can see i'm just going to change here now to details on the original was 14 megabytes just over 14 megabytes and it was an mp4 video i'm just going to go down here this is now six megabytes and it's an avi video file now the reason it's that small is uh, partially because you can see here when i mouse over it that it's actually changed if you look down to the second last line it's changed the dimensions to 320 by 240 rather than in the old one if i put the mouse over it um hold on now if you go media info you will see that the size was bigger if I scroll down along here. Um, just looking for it there. It's in there somewhere anyway, but if you should be able to see it anyway. Okay, so that's basically the FF output folder and just click on it then. You will see that it changed the video. It changed the size actually as well. Um, and it changed the format. Now you can change the size to whatever you want within that format factory program, but just for expediency, just to, for this video, I wanted to do it as quick as possible so I just made it small so that's basically it so I'm just going to kill that there now that's basically um, basically how to convert a YouTube video into AVI uh, from beginning to end